Move your fingers. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move, Don't move. Don't move yet. Don't move yet. You're doing good. Okay, straight up. Oh, good job. Can you throw this hand print? All right, over here. Go wash your hands. Okay. Hand print. Where's your hand print? Over there. Dad, that's Dad's hand print. What's up guys, welcome back to the vlog. Today I got something planned. I need to fix, I need to finish. I need to finish this fence. It's been raining all week. We got a tiny little break in the weather. I'm gonna go try to stretch some fence. I have 660 feet of sheep fence that I need to stretch across the front of our property. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I think it's gonna be fine. I'm not, I'm not trying to build like the world's best fence. It's literally just sort of like a barrier to keep our little ones from running into the road. Uh, I got a few things to help me out. This is for our paramotor, but this is something I bought recently on Amazon, and I think it's gonna help us out a ton. You know that I just recently bought a 40-year-old Kubota tractor, and it has been incredible for moving brush and stuff and just doing like odd jobs around the property. We have 30 acres, buying a 25 horsepower tractor might seem like it's a little too small, but it, it's actually been pretty capable. It's been a, it's allowed us to pull off a lot of really, really cool little odd jobs that I normally would have to be doing with just manual labor. I picked these up on Amazon, I think it was like 160 bucks. They're just like these little clamp on uh, forklift arms. So being that my tractor's older, it doesn't have like the quick connect stuff. Take me a little bit longer to bolt these on, but I think they're gonna work just fine. There's our little Kubota workhorse. They just slide onto the bucket. And they just have to clamp. Super easy. These have a lift capacity of around 1,500 pounds, which is quite a bit. Like, we're doing little odd jobs around. I mean, I know they make them up to like 4,500 pounds, but I don't ever see myself needing to do that. down this end there should be enough on the end of the roll to bring over here and do this back half if not I'm hoping I have enough on the next roll but uh geez see how fast the cars go through here this is why I want this fence to keep the kids out of the road hey Bentley come here buddy keep these guys out of the road oh boy this big fat six inch round post is concreted deep into the ground and this is where the gates are going. This gate will be hung here. And so this is gonna be 
the first pull that gets tension all the way across. I'm hoping that because I concreted this one, just the concrete alone is gonna be enough and it doesn't need like any bracing. The gate itself, stretching over to the other concreted end, should also provide some bracing. But I'm gonna be stretching this wire, so I'm gonna start off by wrapping this end around the post once or twice, and then uh, basically running down the end, flipping all the stuff up. And I'm gonna come up with some kind of way to use the winch on my truck, I think, to stretch this all, wrap it around to the front, and just staple the hell out of it. So this is definitely like a two-person job, maybe even a three or four-person job, but I'm gonna do it on my own. Des and I hit the gym this morning. It's been a busy day already. And now I'm out here building fence in the rain. I have a feeling I'm going to waste a lot of fence doing this, but oh well. These barbed staples should hold really well, I think. Cool, okay. So now, because I think this is gonna straighten out a little bit. So I got the wire spanning across the front faces of all of the poles. That was the tricky part. But now comes the kind of technical part. I need to figure out a way to attach the wire to some sort of rope or tow system so I can stretch it tight. See how like wavy and crappy it looks? We don't want that, we want a nice tight fence. So I'm gonna stretch it and all those posts there are concreted in. Okay, so now I gotta come up with a way to clamp the wire and then be able to pull on it equally. And so I got an idea, I'm just gonna get started on, I'll show you guys what I come up with if it works. Let's just run along this. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this here. It's gonna stretch and I'm, I'm assuming I'll get quite a few more feet, but I'm still just gonna cut it right here. Made our asshole neighbors out watching me. God, I'm so sick of them. They need to find a better hobby. I'm going to sandwich the wire in between these two pieces of steel. Ow. That was pretty cool. A fan of the channel just rolled up. He was like, hey, I'm a huge fan of the channel. Got a sweet white Tacoma all lifted, just like the first one I ever owned. Mine was a 98, I don't know what that was, but God, it reminded me of my first Tacoma. Hey Hayden, thank you so much for stopping by. Don't tell anyone where I live. <laughs> or I'll come get those stickers back from you. What's that? What's in the Detroit? Oh, that's a box for the, uh, the winch. Oh. Yeah, so I'm gonna use the winch uh, just because it has a little bit more control to stretch the fence. Fun. Yeah, thanks. Wow, that guy was actually kind of nice. That was weird. I think he's bipolar or something. Okay. fell all the way down. Well, maybe I can still stretch it tight from here and stand it up as I go. Oh, that sucked. I don't think I even caught that on camera. It went all the way down the line. Ah.
feel like that corner over there is going to screw it up. Oh, it's standing up. Look at this go, it's standing up. Woo! It worked! That actually worked! <laughs> I just walked down the line. Everything looks really, really good. I'm gonna pull it just a smidge tighter. Hopefully there's no disasters. Then I'll walk down and I'll just start pinning everything with just a buttload of staples. And I think it's gonna be really good. I put the tractor up against the post. I put the tractor up against the post down there just so it didn't have any like extra strain. Once they're all stapled, every single post on the line should be supporting that stretch and it won't all be on that one post. Pretty tight, deceivingly tight. I think that's about as much as I want to do right now. I don't want to pull that post out of the ground. Yeah, it looks really, really good. It's tight enough, I think. This is a good representation of how far it stretched. Over a foot. And that is really, really nice. I think if these are all strapped with a bunch of staples, it's going to be a nice, sturdy fence. Yeah. Hopefully it just stays put. It looks pretty good right now. Some of these ones that are just planted in the dirt uh, are kind of getting loose as I hammer them, but I think um, I can go back and kind of pack them back down and then as the grass grows back over this and the dirt settles in and that clay dries, it'll be a really, really tight fit. They're not really structural, they're just supposed to hold the fence up. What you doing? Oh, you good boy. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. All right, Bentley. All right, guys, we're almost there. I got all of them pinned all the way down from that first gate to the end right there. And now I'm gonna have to let off the tension, which hopefully everything goes okay, and then pull this fence back, relocate the truck, stretch it around this corner. And that's the part I'm kind of worried about. I think these posts on the end here are gonna struggle a little bit. <laughs> but uh, stretch it around to this concreted in post, and hopefully, those ones on the end don't fall down. If they do, huh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I guess I'll probably pull them up and concrete them in. So let's give it a try and then that is it for today. Hopefully I can finish this tomorrow. Looks like it's still intact. For the most part, good, okay. So now I need to just wrap it around this fence post. That worked really, really well, surprisingly well. I think that worked pretty good. This post leaned a little bit. I don't really care too much. Look how, look how shaky this post is. That one's got nothing slack out of it. Although that is really freaking tight. Huh. The winch works. 
I ended up putting some posts up like that. That won't stay there. I just gotta come up with a... I just gotta come up with a better solution. Um, probably pour some concrete, maybe dig around those, like with those posts in and pour concrete in. I just wish I had concreted those corners. It makes a lot of sense, because that's all that pressure is going around the corner, but we have this really sticky clay. I thought it was gonna, I thought it was gonna hold. Uh, but everything else is holding really well, just not those corners, like not the, the curve. Hopefully everything stays in place. Beautiful. Oh, this worked out really well. Okay, well, I gotta head inside. I'm starving. I've barely eaten today. I do that. I get in the habit of like working on projects and then I just forget to eat and then I lose a ton of weight. Uh, but not in a good way. I lose all the muscle mass I work for. But um, gotta go inside, get some food. This worked out okay. I think in retrospect, I really should have just ordered a big pile of gravel and shoveled the gravel into the post holes. I read online that if you had like sticky clay that you can get away with just backfilling with dirt. Um, and just the fact that it's like those posts aren't really much more than just T posts. Like they're not really supporting any weight. They're just keeping the fence upright. However, just pounding on them kind of made them lean. And especially the ones that are on the corners, those ones tilted. And so I don't know how to fix that without I don't know. My best guess is to sort of dig, build supports around them, dig around them, fill them with concrete, and uh, wait until the concrete dries and then pull the supports. So, so let's go see how the rest of the family's doing. Uh, Brody, get out of my face. Blog. I'm going to teach you how to remove wallpaper. Tracy, spray it with some cleaner that you found in the drawer. What, what if you, you don't have one of these what is that? in your car to remove ice, <laughs> you can also use a cheese cutter. <laughs> Works nice. Thank you for that. <laughs> I, just, I just can't believe you didn't like the fish. <laughs> this is what I came home to. Surprise! Surprise! This is what happens when Des gets bored. Ran out of audio books. Just ran out of stuff to do. Goodness gracious! No, honey, you find the way we the bedtime story. No, I thought you were gonna read me. If this is my room. No, it's not your room. This is my, this is my bed. This is my bed. It's my bedtime. This is not your bedtime. It's just me. Can I have a snack? Confusing. The mask of the sensei. Uh, 